Hi guys, um, this is Wolf, and I'm getting ready to make a video for an Anon who asked me how to use um, some simple features on GIMP or Photoshop if you have it, and how to make the picture of me with Zira's face on it, um, which if you haven't seen it, it should be under my my face tab on my Tumblr, namedwolf.tumblr.com. So go there and check it out, and then come back and watch this if you don't know what I'm talking about. But I'd like to say before I start this video that I don't have uh, Photoshop because I'm poor. And so I'm using GIMP uh, version 2.6, which is um, it's a GNU image manipulation program. Sim very similar to Photoshop, but it lacks some of the features um, Photoshop does, and I'll explain those in the video. But um, stay tuned. If you don't know how to do what I'm about to do, and if you do know how to do what I'm about to do, then you probably don't really need to watch the video. Alright, bye! Alright guys, let's get started. I've already opened um, GIMP, the GNU Image Manipulation Program. I'm going to be replacing my friend Jesse's head with the head of Simba from Lion King. Okay. First you get a file right here, and open, and choose the picture you want to take the head off of using the adorable picture of Simba. Okay, if you have Photoshop, there is a feature called um, magnetic lasso. That's it. And it looks like this, but it has a different function, like this one. And you'll take it and you'll drag it around Simba's head, and it will select just his head. And then you can make the size um, bigger and smaller. There'll be one of these things. It'll make the size bigger and smaller. And so then you can make it small so you can get into all these little areas and get his whiskers. But because I have GIMP and not Photoshop, I can't do that. I'm going to zoom in on some head. And I'm going to take my free select tool do a very bad job selecting Simba's head. He doesn't need whiskers because I'm not going to take the time to outline those. Okay, so, Simba. Okay, so this is, if you do have GIMP, this is called the free select tool, and you can, each one of these little dots is where I've clicked to make an endpoint for the select, and you'll select all the way around his head. Yay! Okay, and then you get it. And your view, 50%. Get him back in the frame. Okay, so now you're going to go up here to select and hit invert. So now instead of selecting just Simba's head, it selected everything around Simba. Right. So you go to layer up here and then go to transparency and hit add alpha channel. That's the transparency. Alright, so now we're going to take the eraser and make it as big as possible. Oh as big as possible, and erase everything around the head. Okay, now control shift A will deselect that. And I'm just going to crop it to about this big. Okay, now I'm going to use select by color, and I'm going to select this white color, and I'm going to take my eraser, and see it's noticed it selected his eyes and teeth as well, so I'm going to be careful not to get those, and I'm going to erase all of that, all right, and control shift A will unselect it, and now you have Simba's head, so you're going to go to file, save as, Simba14.gif, I'm just going to save it under the original name, hit save, replace, Save, okay, because gives it wants to interlace. And now you saved it. Alright, so we're going to go to File, Open, and select my picture of Jesse that I can't find. There, should, there it is. Okay, Open. Alright, now Jesse is open. I'm going to File, Open as Layers, and Open Simba. Boom! And there's Simba's head. Alright, so let's select 
Well, no, let's select this one. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger. And then select the... Well, no. Okay, I'm changing my mind on what I want to do here. Alright, I'm going to drag it up here. And select the background. Layer, scale layer. I'm going to make this a bit smaller. So, oh god. Oh, what have I done? Oh god. Okay. Alright, now we're going to make Simba Z small. I messed up, guys. Give me a break. Okay, so I'm going to select Simba's head and bring it over Jesse's head. And then, because I messed up, I don't want to scale it again. So I'm going to crop it to this size. Boom! Oh, I left some of the alpha. Okay. Try again. Boom! Okay, close enough. Okay. I hope you do a better job with this than I did. Then file, save as. Jesse, sure. Replace. Alright, um, say JPEG can't handle transparency. Yes. Alright, I hope you guys found this somewhat helpful. Um, I'm sorry the video was kind of rushed. The screen recording software I have, um, only has a five minute time limit on it. So I tried to fit the whole video into five minutes. And also, I'm sorry for the poor quality of my face right now, both my makeup and the video quality, because I didn't feel like fighting with my webcam to make it work. And also, I didn't feel like fighting with makeup. So I look like shit, but it's okay, because most of this video isn't even me. Um, but if you want any more videos done, um, ask me. Um, send me topics or questions or things you want to know how to do, and I will make myself pretty and fix my webcam and get better software, and I will make you another video. And also, I will try not to do all these segments in just one take, because I'm lazy with editing. So I'll put more effort into the next video I do, I promise. Um, so that's it. Uh, follow mainedwolf.tumblr.com, and keep watching videos. Bye.